Josh Rubin from eastwesthealing.com. Don't forget to go to our website to get your free 15-minute consult as well as download your free seven-part audio series on how to heal your adrenals and regulate your metabolism with food. Today, I want to talk about vitamin A. Vitamin A is anti-estrogenic and pro-thyroid. Why? Well, it's pretty simple. Vitamin A from the foods we eat are precursors to progesterone, and progesterone is a very pro-thyroid hormone in the body. And we can get it, of course, in our body, but we can get it from eating certain foods, especially dairy, but also regulating our blood sugar and putting our body in a pro-thyroid state. But my point of doing this is everyone thinks that vitamin A is just generalized, and it's not. We have plant source, animal source. Plant source is anything that's orange, carrots, pumpkin, squash, sweet potatoes, right? as well as most supplements out there are plant source, animal source, or meat, and liver. Liver is probably the best. But what we know is this, the vitamin A that is in a plant source is housed in the cells or the cellulose of the plant source, so it's not bioavailable to humans. So when we over ingest these orange foods, what happens is our skin, our palms, our feet usually become orange. And the excess intake of plant source vitamin A is estrogenic and antithyroid. The ingestion of an uh, animal source vitamin A from liver, especially that's why liver is a very pro-thyroid food, is highly pro-thyroid and bioavailable to humans through the use of not only thyroid hormone and B12. So when we're choosing our foods, we need to look at not, not in a general sense vitamin A, but how we can actually access the vitamin A and can we use it. So we know that vitamin A is pro-thyroid and anti-estrogenic and pro-progesterone, but we know with one source it's not, and we know with the other source, the animal source, it is.